Assalamu alaikum and hi. Are you an SPM leaver trying to find a placement to further your studies? Are you keen on learning English on a higher level? Or perhaps you just want to explore English related fields simply because you still don't know what to do? I am Miss Wa, one of the English lecturers in KPM Sri Iskandar. And I'm Miss Yaya, an English lecturer and the program coordinator for Diploma in English Communication. Are you interested in knowing what is the program about and what are the entry requirements, what are the courses offered and what would be the career prospects for our graduates? I'll let Ms. Yaya to explain to you the details. Diploma in English Communication or DEC is a program that prepares students to become a competent speaker by equipping them with skills and tools needed for successful communication. This program trains the students on communication skills verbally and in writing which expose them to the four important English language skills that are writing, listening, reading and speaking including grammar through English courses. Other than that, we also provide opportunities for the students to explore the fields of broadcasting and journalism. Mm, but what if you're not interested in putting your face on the screen? No worries because you will also be exposed to the corporate world on how to excel in public relations or conduct a meeting in a professional manner. After all, our top priority is to ensure each and every student of DEC will be able to communicate in English comfortably in all settings, be it during a formal public speaking session or even in the culture performance. Next, you must be wondering how to enroll in the program. There are two entry requirements that candidates must go through to successfully being admitted in the program. Firstly, pass Sija Pelajaran Malaysia with credit in three subjects including Bahasa Melayu, Bahasa Inggeris with B grade minimum and one other subject and also pass in Mathematics. Secondly, pass the interview or test held by the college. Thank you very much, Ms. Yaya. That was definitely clear. Just now, she mentioned that students will be introduced to different fields of English. So, you must be thinking, what would be the courses that the DEC students will have to take during the DR2 years diploma program? That is definitely a lot, but I can highlight a few courses that you might find interesting. As our core is English, we aim to complement students on the mastery of the five important skills which are reading, listening, writing, speaking, as well as grammar. They will be taught these skills during the introduction and advanced courses. Not only that, the students will also get to become journalists and produce their own news report in English in Media 1 and 2. They will have chances to even produce their own drama scripts and start shooting their own films, aside from getting exposure on publishing magazine publications. Now, how about preparation for workplace? Well, in preparing the students for workplace settings, they will learn about organizational skills and communication in business communication 1 and 2 and workplace communication. These courses will educate them on how to have a great communication and time management skills, how to set goals, delegating works, staying focused, meeting deadlines and working together as a team in an organization to assist others to do their job well. In addition, the students will be introduced to basic linguistic components such as phonetics and pragmatics together with history and development of English language and variation of language. In upper semester, the students will be learning translation procedures to equip them for translation certification program. It is a professional program collaboration with Institut Terjemahan Buku Malaysia or ITBM which will be beneficial for their internship application as well as their future career. To different fields will definitely explore our students' potential to the max. But what about the credentials of our lecturers? Hmm, that's one interesting question, Miss Fa. So, our dedicated English lecturers are well trained and experienced in their respective fields of teaching. Not only that, we also have been certified with translation certificate by ITBM to teach the course to our students. Yeah, yeah, that is amazing. But what about the career prospects for our DEC graduates? I mean, like, will they be teaching English? 
not necessarily. We aim to create a broader spectrum of career prospects for our graduates. Our DEC alumni have ventured into the fields of broadcasting, journalism, public relations, human resource, international business, tourism, media, event management, marketing and information and technology aligned with our objective that propels DEC students into becoming a successful media and communication executive. There you have it, a full explanation on what the EC program is about. Fear not, if you require further details and information, you can always visit our official KPMSI website here at sriiskanda.kpm.edu.my. We also provide you some sharings from our DEC students who are currently enrolled in this program. So let's hear what they have to say about DEC. The one thing that I like about DEC is that I get to learn about basic translation where it's not commonly offered in other institutions and I get to sit for the ITBN test where I could use the certificate for me to generate side income from doing translation work. What I love about studying in DEC is that I've made a lot of good friends from different backgrounds because of the DEC club activities I joined such as the drama competition and also when I joined the board of directors. But the one thing that makes us embrace those differences is our same passion for language. People always think that um, English courses are all about uh, writing essays and literature. Actually, a um, diploma in English communication gives you a better exposure and it is more than read, write and talk. Actually, uh, you can become a film director, you can create your own story and learn a proper way to communicate and deal in business situation. And for me, English is fine is the true definition of DEC. One thing I like about DEC is that I can, only, I can learn Mandarin and English at the same time. They offer Mandarin for two semesters, like such as Well, that's all from us for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to apply for the program. See you!